Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be crafting my August TBR using my not so trustworthy TBR jar. This TBR jar is full of prompts. We're gonna be pulling eight of them and then those eight will be my August TBR. I will add some extra a few because there are some other books that I know I'm not gonna end up pulling from here that I'm gonna wanna read, but we're at least gonna do eight. It's gonna have me branch out a little bit, but also cull down my TBR because it's getting a little ridiculous at this point because it's not just these. There are books all over these shelves that I haven't even come close to reading. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the little like button. And if you wanna see more content from me, make sure that you're subscribed. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see if the jar actually likes me this month or not. It's a little hit or miss. Not gonna lie, little hit or miss. All right, that feels pretty good. That feels good. Okay, one right on top. Let's see. Popular book talk book. Let me get out of the way so y'all can see that. I don't even know if y'all can read that. The ink is so light on that thing, but popular book talk book. All right, let's see what we have. Popular book. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I actually just got this book in the mail yesterday. Okay, wait. This is literally perfect because someone just skipped me this. It's if he had been with me. I feel like I'm the last person on the planet that has not read this book yet. And it's finally time. I know that this book has had its moment on book talk, which makes it popular, which means I'm going to read it. Do I know anything about it? No. Do I know it could make me cry? Yes, actually, I've heard it's gonna shatter my heart into a million pieces, but I'm ready for it. It's time, the TBR jar has chosen, and I'm happy with this one. Okay, that's a good first one. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's see what else it'll have for us. Okay, that feels good. Here we are. Nominated for Goodreads Choice Awards. Okay, I'm gonna have to have my phone for that. Let's pull up my phone doesn't specify the genre, so I feel like I could like literally do anything. Do I think any of these would have been nominated? I don't know. <laughs> Where do I go? Let's go to choice. The best books of 2023. I don't know if any of these were nominated. First, let's look at romance first. Okay, so I don't own this book, but I really want to read it. And so I feel like that kind of defeats a little bit of the purpose of my TBR jar, but also I make the rules. I make the rules around here. So I'm gonna count it. I really wanna read The Right Move by Liz Tomford. This is the second book in the Windy City series. It was nominated for Best Romance of last year on the Goodreads Choice Award. I don't know anything about it except that I DNF'd Mile High, which I know, I know, hold your gasps right now, but I just did not love it. I know that everyone else completely adores that series, but that book just didn't work for me. And I've been told that the series gets better and better. So why not try it out? We're counting it. So The Right Move by Liz Tomford. Hopefully I don't DNF this one like Mile High. If you've read this series and you didn't like Mile High, did you end up liking the right move? Let me know, let me know. I'm counting that for book two though. <laughs> okay, book three. Okay, right on top, this is the first one I grabbed. <laughs> sports, Um, specifically, go sports, woo! So I need a sports book. <laughs> I feel like I was a little unhinged when I wrote this one. All right, all right, okay. Y'all, I don't know if I have a sports book on my TBR. Hello? Hello? Okay, I gotta stand up. I gotta stand up and look. I don't think I have one. In a strange turn of events, I really don't think I have one. Oh, I do. I do. I do. All right. So I do have one. It's The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. Y'all, I actually have DNF'd this book. <laughs> I think I read like 60 pages and I ended up DNFing it because I couldn't get into it, but I kept it because again, I've heard it was amazing. So I'm hoping it was more of a me thing than the book thing. And I kept it, which means it's still on my shelf, which means it still counts. Obviously sports, football. I think it's marriage of convenience. It's huge, which could be a mistake. It's over 650 pages. But yeah, I, I read like the first 40 and that was it. We're gonna give it another chance. If I still don't like this book, it's gonna be my sign to unhaul it. But let's see what happens. I absolutely adored Colty by Marianne Spotted, which is a slow burn soccer romance. And I'm pretty sure this is a slow burn football romance. I feel like it could work. I feel hopeful. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling hopeful. I also feel like that's the last sports romance book on my TBR shelf. So I, it's the only one we got. It's all, it's all we're working with, all we're working with. Okay, freebie. Okay, thank goodness, freebie, freebie. This means the world is my oyster and I can pick whatever the heck I want to pick. But I don't know what I want. 
It's a little unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to read? I feel like someone should be playing the Jeopardy music at this moment in time, like da na 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 na. That's what's going through my brain right now. Also, so sorry to sing to y'all. I apologize. Not in advance. Should have put up a little trigger warning or something. I think I want to do This Could Be Us. I haven't read the first book in this series, but I'm pretty sure they're interconnected standalone, so I could definitely read them out of order. Also, I'll confirm for sure if that is true with this book, but look how stunning the cover is. Like, that's just gorgeous. I don't know anything about it at all, except that this author is apparently amazing and I need to hop on the bandwagon. Oh, and Emily Henry blurbed it. Heart searing, sensual, and life affirming. Sounds good to me. We are counting it. And I think it's on Kindle Unlimited, so then I can have a format change if I need that. That is perfect. Okay, so that was four. Let's pull out book five. This is what we got. This is what we're working with. This is Matches the Season. Okay, actually, that's perfect because I have a lot of summer books that I haven't read yet that I absolutely need to because it's almost over. Summer is literally almost over. And I am not going to want to be reading a summer romance when it's freezing cold outside. So let's see what we have. I could read Until Next Summer. Has summer in the name. That sounds kind of perfect to me, not gonna lie. Okay, I found some more. I also have Malibu Summer by Libby Gill, and I have Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monahan. They're all blue. Is blue the color of the season? Like, is this the color of summer? Someone tell me, because literally they are all the same shade of blue. Hello? It's never too late to fall in love at camp. So two former best friends each find love at an adult-only summer camp in this contemporary romance that proves once a camp person, always a camp person. That's kind of fun. So that's until next summer. Malibu summer is lose yourself in this opposites attract romance set on a sunny Malibu hillside. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then same time next summer doesn't actually give us a blurb. All right, but it does have like this little like beach rules thing at the top. So it says, do not take long walks on the sand. Do not put an umbrella in every cocktail. Do not run into your first love. Is this a second chance? Is this a summer second chance romance? <gasps> if there's one thing about me that you need to know is that I love second chance romances. Like that's actually my favorite trope. If it is done correctly, like I am a happy camper and that's my bread and butter. Also, I match. I know earlier I was saying that all the books were blue, but like I actually matched this book. Okay, that's a sign. We're doing same time next summer. That is actually a sign and it's under 300 pages. That is beautiful. That is glorious. We are reading this one. Okay, wait, I'm so excited. I love a second chance. All right, let's pick number six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, number six. Let's pick number six. I love how I look up. I never need to look up because obviously they're all folded. Whoa. Uh, okay. Okay, it's a classic. We're gonna be reading a classic. That's so fun. Um, I love that so much. I don't even know what classic I wanna read. Also, I couldn't tell you the last time I read a classic. All right, you know what? We're gonna branch out. This is making us branch out. This is why we do the TBR jar. I have so many classics that are beautiful on my shelf that I just have because they're beautiful and stunning to look at. And we have to read it. We have to read the contents. Even if I'm not in the mood for it, that's okay. I could be in the mood for it. Do you see me hyping myself up right now? Because this, what I'm saying right now, this rambling, one is procrastination, but two, it's hyping me up. I need to be energized to be reading a classic in August. So um, let's go to my classic shelf. I will return shortly and hopefully I can find a tiny one. Yay, yay. I'm back. I have two and I'm gonna put both of these on my TBR because I have no clue which one I want to read. And so we're gonna include both. And if I read both, amazing. If I don't, hopefully I just get to one because that'll check off the TBR jar. So I have Persuasion by Jane Austen. I absolutely love Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice and Emma are like two of my favorite books to ever exist. 
And so I feel like this is a pretty safe bet. And then I have Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. I've never read anything by her, but I've heard her writing style is amazing and similar to Jane Austen's in the aspect of the pacing is a little modern to what we're used to. So I should be able to fall into it really, really quickly and find my footing, which I appreciate in a classic. So I feel like these are safe bets. If you've read either of these, let me know which one you prefer slash which one I should prioritize in the month of August. Because I don't know, we'll have to see but I feel like these could be good. Also, I collect these penguin cloth bound editions and they're just stunning. Like they genuinely just make me so happy. And so it is a good thing that I pulled this out of the TBR jar because I need to read these. I can't just have them to look at. No, I need to read them. So we're going to, we're counting both Persuasion and Cranford. They're both going on the TBR. Hopefully I read one. Okay, so that was six. So let's do seven. Whew, that one got my heart racing a little bit. It got my heart racing y'all, not gonna lie book that matches outfit i just found a book that ma y'all i just said same time next summer matched my outfit and now i have to find a book that matches my outfit again should i move same time next summer to my outfit and then just pick a different summer one i actually think that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna adjust we're adjusting we are now moving same time next summer to book that matches my outfit because this matches my outfit perfectly i literally mentioned that earlier in the video so it has to be this one it has to be this one which means i'm going to move until next summer to the one where it's a book that matches the season because this one's summer camp vibes and i feel like this would be a really fun end of summer book also oh my goodness wait annabelle monahan the this author is blurbed on this book it says friendship romance summer camp this book is a complete winner so she is blurbed on this book and i feel like that's a sign i feel like that's a sign this feels like pure chaos in a video but we're just gonna roll with it and we're counting it so now We've adjusted and we will move forward with our final pick from the jar. Oh my goodness. I feel like this has been the most all over the place TBR video, but also I feel like that's the most fitting thing for my channel. I feel like that's the most fitting thing ever. A debut. So our final one is a debut novel. I'm gonna have to use my phone again because I really don't know which of these are gonna end up being debuts. Kind of just going off of whether I've heard this author before or not. Okay, so this is a debut. So this is one of our options. Kilt Trip by Alexandra Kylie. I don't know what just fell out of that book, but that's okay. So this is one option. Also, guys, this is a little bit of a change of subject, but I just found another sports romance book. So that's a little unfortunate that I just found that. But we're sticking with what we have. We're sticking with what we have. Not changing twice. Okay, this one's also a debut. This one is Love and Other Conspiracies. Isn't that just such a fun cover? That one's so cutie. And this one comes out in August, so it's not even out yet. It comes out August 20th. I feel like this could be fun, and I feel like it also would be a really good end of summer romance slash leading into fall romance, if that makes any sense. I feel like it could be just a good time. I feel like it could just be a good time. And that's really all that matters. So the hardest thing for a paranormal conspiracy theorist and a web series producer to believe in is finding love in the swoony debut romantic comedy. It literally says debut. I did not have to even look that up. That's a little unfortunate, but moving forward, moving forward, this is my pick. This looks fun. This just looks cutie. What else could I even ask for? Okay, that's number eight. Period, period. This was a all over the place video. What else am I wanting to read this month that I can share with y'all? Oh, okay. I actually am really wanting to read Fall With Me by Becca Mack. This is a hockey romance. I think it comes out July 31st. I think, I'm not positive on that, but this is the fourth book in the Playing For Keep series. And I absolutely adore this book. And I kind of want to say it's the final one as well. So we will definitely be reading that one. I'm also planning on reading Delicate Escape by Katherine Cowles. You already know I love her. She's one of my auto buy authors. Delicate Escape is her newest book, the sequel to Fragile Sanctuary. And I'm gonna have to read it on release day. Also I wanted to read Red, White and Royal Blue. I have never read that book before and I feel like everyone has read it and I just discovered it's on Kindle Unlimited the other day. So why the heck not? And also I wanna watch the movie and I'm refusing to watch the movie until I've read that book. So hopefully I can get that one done because I just feel like this is the time of the year to watch that movie. 
Like this is the time of the year. So we will be getting that one done. Mark my words, mark my words. Oh, actually I do have one more. I really wanna read The Atlas Six by Olivier Blake. I know my wrap up for July hasn't come out, but I didn't read this one in July and I really wanna get to it. So I feel like I need to bump it over to August to try and get it done. Cause I've just heard amazing things and I wanna read something by this author cause I've heard she's great. It seems like something that's completely out of my comfort zone. Cause I'm pretty sure it's either fantasy or sci-fi, which is not something I normally gravitate towards. So we're adding it to the TBR. All right, y'all, let's run through all the prompts and the books that I chose for each of the prompts so that y'all know exactly what's on my August TBR. Let's go. For the prompt, a popular book talk book, I will be reading If He Had Been With Me. I'm so excited for this one. I'm ready to jump on the bandwagon and see what the hype is about. Let me know if you've read this one slash if you think it's worth the hype. For the prompt, a Goodreads Choice Award winner, I will be reading The Right Move by Liz Tomford. Yes, I do not own this book and that is a-okay. It's not cheating. We are counting it I can make the rules and I've decided that that's what I'm gonna read. I was not a fan of Mile High, but it's okay. It's okay. Moving forward for a sports romance, I am going to be reading The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. This could either be the best decision of my life or a mistake. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Stay tuned. For my freebie prompt, I'll be reading This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. This one will get read. This one a thousand percent will get read. Mark my words. I'm excited for this one. The prompt, a book that matches the season. I'm gonna be reading Until Next Summer by Allie Brady. This one's at summer camp. Yes, please sign me up. For the prompt, read a classic. We have either Persuasion or Cranford. This one's by Jane Austen. This one's by Elizabeth Gaskell. I don't know which one's gonna get read. I'm a little nervous, but optimistic. For the prompt, a book that matches your outfit. We're doing Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monica. And you see the blues, you see the yellows? That's me. That is me right now. This one works perfectly. And finally, for a debut, I'm going to be reading Love and Other Conspiracies by Mallory Marlowe. So that's all I have for today's video. If you've read any of these books, let me know down below all of your thoughts, whether you loved it, you're neutral, you hated it. I don't care. I want to hear them all. And I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all.